So I was looking at analytics and researching what people like to see on YouTube videos and apparently something called a Hemi car is very popular. I've heard of those. Yeah. Yeah. So we have decided to visit once again our friend James. Hello and, again. And talk to him about his Hemi car. I do have a Hemi car. It's a uh, 1953 Dodge Coronet. This will be the first year that uh, Dodge put a Hemi in, in the Coronet, 53. It's a baby Hemi, a 241 Hemi, two barrel, I know, two barrel guys. Uh, but it, it does scoot, boot, and uh, doesn't loot though. So. There's only half a battery here, James. Oh yeah, so this is a uh, state-of-the-art technology, six volt, positive ground, let that sink in for a minute. Uh, and yeah, we're, we're running six volt positive ground steel. And, and what's this device over here? That generates electricity. In some, <laughs> in some manner, wow. Yeah, in some manner. I really and, uh, haven't done I believe anything. this is an oil bath it. air cleaner, right? It is, yeah, and so. it's still functioning as one. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I assume you made the repairs that were needed. I did run some resin in it, it so no it's longer not leaks. leaking. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, uh, and then all of the early Hemis had uh, cute little names. The, the uh, Dodge was the Red Ram. Yeah, you can kind of see it in Which there. always makes me think of the shiny. Yeah, I think we can Red see that. Ram. <laughs> Red Ram. It, it was actually Red Rum. <laughs> Murder spelled backwards. No, I know. I, I know. <laughs> anyway, uh, clearly this is a Dodge. Yeah. says so. Look at that. I didn't know that. Got some documentation there. there yeah, that is proof yeah. that we know what we're talking about. And that's a mysterious black box. It is. You know, these these uh, things are actually registered with the engine number, so this one was kind of hard to register. Um, well, this one wasn't, but of the other Hemis that I've had in the past of this decade, uh, they're, they're hard to register if they don't have the engine number because that's what was on the title. <laughs> uh, from a, from a different time. Yes. Agreed. So one cool thing about this car, James, it, it, well, the YouTube community, uh, let, me, let me let everyone know. James drives this car every day. That's true, it and, is a daily. And it has no modernization. It has points, the original carburetor. Dual points. Six volt, <laughs> a generator, a mechanical voltage regulator. This is the state of the wiring. It's still got the cloth on a lot of it. And it all works. I don't right. know. This hose looks pretty modern to me. Oh, geez. we only replace the things that James. You changed the hose. Yeah, well, let me just we can rip that off. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, there we go. Back restoration proper. Concourse All right. Good. And you can see it's a Dodge V8. You got the Ram on top. Yeah, the back I think really sells it because it's uh, it. The uh, yes, you have to have a motor to go, but you need something to transfer that power and uh, the gyromatic. Uh, is what this car has. That's the transmission you're talking that about? That is the transmission, yeah. It's labeled because they're proud of it. Uh, it's labeled on the back, gyromatic. All right, we'll give everybody a nice walk around of the patina. Is this patina or is this uh, the new paint job? Uh, well, it's, it's, it's a living, it's living art right now is what I call it. There's the gyromatic. You can always tell what technology was new at the time that a car came onto the market because they would be really proud of it and like put it on a badge, you know? I mean, it's like in how in the 80s, all of a sudden you start seeing like graphics that say fuel injection. Yeah, that's a good point. All right. Can I drive this? You should drive this, yeah. Let's it's got navigation so we can we can get around. Oh, good, we won't be easily. lost. Yeah, I guess that is the only modernization that I've done to it. Is the, the navigation. Let's uh, give a little review of the interior here. The gauges are pretty cool in this car, as is the steering wheel. You can see. Is the they heater? Weren't, they uh, weren't stingy on the steering wheel. That is a large, large and flat. It has three, three. pedals, and yet it's a gyromatic semi-automatic transmission yeah how do those even work well not only do you get three pedals you get a torque converter uh you know and a clutch so uh, so it's basically <laughs> like they were like we have all of this stuff let's put it in the same car yeah i guess they were just trying new things i'm not Show sure off. so it's a it's an engine a torque converter and a manual transmission all seamlessly working together in some manner all right let's go <laughs> let's go for a ride let's do it Nice interior, James. Yeah. Get that door for you. So I kind of I need to highlight that this car has the navigation package. Yeah, it's <laughs> very can, fine GPS. Can if, you guys see the? <laughs> if you're a boat. Yeah, it this, is. It is. <laughs> this is the original navigation. Look at that. You can get anywhere in the world with the headliner in this car. 
That's a cool headliner, James. Yeah, this is the first headliner I've ever done with the, the bow uh, things and uh, did it with my mom's Montgomery Ward sewing machine. Yeah, you did all, all the interior, right? Well, seats and headliner, yeah, yes. Yeah, the, the door panels are original. Though. Door panels are original. They, they're they in pretty good shape, so. I, uh, all right, well, um, let's go to yeah, uh, the Dominion of Canada. Do you have a pencil and a compass? <laughs> Yeah. You know, I know how to use one. Um, what do I do? How do I start this? Well, because it has a torque converter and a clutch, you don't. You just turn the key. All right, so no clutch in to start it. You don't have to, no. Okay, and uh, should I pump the gas? No gas? I think you should be okay. We, we You know, this we is my daily earlier. driver, yeah. so there we go. Yeah. Wow, that was all six volts. It took it all, yeah. Luckily, the generator is generating more, and it's going to give some to the battery to, to, to let so it live. So generous. Yes. All right. Next now step. What? So you'll engage the clutch. Is this a parking brake? That is a parking brake. We probably want to use that. Yeah, you can Yeah, take the parking brake off to infinity and beyond. Here we go. All right. All right, so you'll want to put the clutch in, and we'll we'll find a gear. So okay. it, it's, it's got three speeds. We're going to go with low, which is all the way up. Up and back? All the way up, just all, right. all the way up. Up and back would be um, reverse. Oh, yeah. All right, we don't want that. No. But there's nobody behind us, so it doesn't really matter. So now you what? can you can let out your clutch, hold your brake. Mm -hmm. Let out your clutch. You're gonna feel it want to go, but hold your brake on. Yeah. Yeah, all the way out. No, you don't have to feather it because it has because a torque it converter. Has torque yeah. I don't understand. So now you're gonna forget about the clutch, basically. Okay. We are in the lowest gear, mm -hmm. uh, so you'll you'll feel it rev up. You'll let off the gas, and then it'll change gears for you. It's like magic. I don't even. Know, that's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it knows. It knows. How so fast do How fast do we gotta go? Is it gonna shift? Yeah. Let off the gas. Let, you gotta let off the gas. I did. Well, no? no. All the way. All the way. All right. Trust, experience. Trust it. All right. How many times? Well, it hasn't shifted yet. There it went. Uh -huh. ah. So it has to idle down. Do you have to down, use the basically. clutch when you stop? You do not. You're going to uh -huh. drive it like an automatic. I, I don't even know what an automatic is. Yeah. Obviously. It's true. Well, we are in 1953, so uh, that's understandable. Yeah. So now that we're in the top gear, this is basically so high So it doesn't low. drop back down to low gear when it you come will. to a yes, stop? It will. Yes, it will. But you, it if didn't you go, then. Correct. I'm thoroughly I'm confused by right here, as is my confused. audience. All right, engage your clutch, pull it all the way straight down. No, did did Abbott and Costello design this thing? All right, now, okay. all right, now this is basically how I drive it. I'm sorry yeah. that we started in low, but uh, maybe we'll, we'll, so clutch out, drive okay. it like it's an automatic. You're only going to You just use, go in high gear all the time now. I do, yeah. Even unless when you come I wanna, to a stop. Yes. Unless I want to turn tire, which we might. We, we might. might. Well, we'll have to attempt it. Yeah, we might want to do that. Yeah, you're just gonna so you're, just, you're drive. only using the matic part and not the gyro part. <laughs> well, that kind of blows my mind. Um, <laughs> I'm only using the right pedal and the, the uh, this one. The one pedal. in the middle? Yeah. I think uh, myself and the YouTube community cannot figure out how this car is driving. No, I also don't understand and I'm driving it. I mean, I think I'm driving it. I don't know, it's doing some things automatically. It's a gyromatic. Yeah, in some manner. It's it doing is. something Wow, automatically. that's a road handling. It really keeled over. It's got a little body sway. I don't know uh, how fine. How do we do a burnout? Uh, well, we'll want to uh, engage, you know, obviously the, the lower set of gears. Uh, so if you want to do it here, I mean, right here seems probably not yeah. not the best choice. So maybe we'll come back around and you can, you can maybe pick a spot. Uh, maybe we'll have to come back and show you guys what a burnout is in the '53 Coronet. Yeah, that might be a safer way. We could, you know, get a yeah, a launch we, pad. Yeah, like go to Mexico <laughs> and uh, find a racetrack. We'll bring it back when we got something really exciting. All right, we're gonna bring everybody back and try and figure out how in the world does this thing drive and shift? Uh, I, th I so thought I explained it. We've been talking, like, okay, it's been a while, guys. We had to stop it because, but, and like, all right, here's what I believe is happening in this car. So there are two dri forward driving positions and one reverse driving position of the lever. That's accurate. The top driving position is, um, like a first and second gear. So there's one shift that happens in the top driving position, and then the lower driving position, the high high gear setting, also has one shift that happens in it. And I believe that the, the high gear setting starts 
in the second gear, which is the top gear in the low gear setting. Wow. Yeah. Um, also, apparently there is some form of kick down. So like if you are already in the, the, higher, the gear. higher gear setting, um, it will can kick we, down to can the we low demonstrate gear kick down? that um, two gear combination. <laughs> Nobody knows what's but, happening. Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure. So we're still in that. Uh, it would have shifted, but you, you, well, yeah. but I, you said you said let off to shift. Yeah, so and then, then it did. It just did. Yeah, like, I have no idea. Right. Like, it feels exactly yeah. the same to me. I, but Jay, Jay, can you lead us through what it's like to get a kick down out of this thing? Yeah, uh, just hammer well, it right here. Well, there it is. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So the kick down is very similar to um, a carburetor stumble. There we go. <laughs> There's, there's the high gear basically. We went so into. we kicked down and then I let off just now and then it kicked down to another gear. Yeah, it is confusing AF. So basically, if you floor it, you have to let completely off the gas pedal for it to upshift in the next higher gear. Correct. Yeah, it's not built for racing. Let's make a, a left. Yeah, let's make a left. left. No, let's or, make yeah. a left here and we'll turn around and we'll, you maybe. know, we'll experiment this a little. This is a dead end, so hit a Yui. Yeah, well, maybe I can try reverse now. Don't, Aha, you know, doesn't everybody go. like a little reverse action? <laughs> That's true. That's true. We should document all of this capability. Yeah, I mean, you know, like this is an important. Um, We're just going to sit back here and watch you guys try to drive this car. Well, in which I am very clearly and technically accurately. Wow, look at the lean. Look at the lean this car has. Uh, see, I don't know if people understand how to drive this car, but. Uh, okay. okay, well, I'm right here, James. <laughs> I can hear you. All right, so clutch in. Yes, clutch in. It comes then, reverse. So, well, so now you just went up to the height here. Oh, so you so. find the middle, find the happy medium, right? That's neutral. Okay. And then you're going to push, pull back, um, and then up. There's oh, reverse. you consider that back. I would have considered that forward. Oh, okay. Well, I'm hey, pulling it towards me. It's working. We're backing up. Well, that's we're just coasting. We're just right rolling now. back, actually. I no, don't even need to put it in reverse. It has a gravity it reverse. <laughs> okay. So now, if I wanted the low set, so just pull it back to the middle. Now we're in middle. neutral. And then there we go. We're in the low setting. Okay. So if you if you do one of those revers and then uh, dump that clutch, it, well, it's probably well, going to turn let's tire. Let's figure out if we're pointed straight first. Oh, uh, yeah, because it right. doesn't have the accessories, okay. power steering accessories. All right, this is a burnout in a 53 Dodge Coronet with the red so Ram just, Mini. Maybe. like... Just get, dump the clutch hard on that gas, so you're going to want to So how much it. gas? Yeah, I mean, well, don't don't be nice to her. Her name is Ruby, but... Well, can, but like, you want me to floor it? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. And then pop the clutch? Dump oh, the clutch. Wow. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> have to let off completely yeah, off no, and then well oh, there we go yeah, all right yeah. so that's yeah, yeah, that, 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 that was great tire. that was great this is a great car everyone should get one gyromatic everybody <laughs> <laughs> i think i felt the uh the rear end slap the uh all right I, I feel like the explanation of the transmission operation was pretty convoluted i would agree with that statement uh, yeah but i just i just made it i think and shifted right no you you're know? still in low low but then how long do you have there to wait? It is. You have to wait. Well, it's, it's, it's got to idle back down to, I don't know so what like the RPM 10 is. 10 minutes between well, shifts? It's, it, 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 although I drive it like a race car, it's not a race car. So. Uh, yeah, I guess. All right, so so I want my high my high setting. So back. engage your clutch and then pull your lever all the way to the ground. There we go. We are in the Second. first gear of the high setting. Yeah, the top <laughs> gear of the low setting. Another thing that I like about this car is that um, basically the horn button ring is about as big as a normal steering wheel. <laughs> this is a great car. One. This is a two great car. One. Everybody should get a 53 Dodge Coronet. Best car ever. All right. I think we'll, we'll call it a wrap with that. <laughs>